Currently, I'm in Shalam, California right now. I'm walking alongside State Route 46. It used to be called US 466. Uh, this is the road where on September 30th, 1955, 24-year-old actor James Dean driving in his car down this highway right here crashed head on with somebody ultimately killing him. We're going to talk a little bit about the events that led up to that crash and uh, we're going to visit a couple different locations of note that happened after the crash. Without further ado, let's get right to the video. We're going to go back in time about 70 years ago. Summer 1955, Hollywood, California. There is a 24-year-old actor up and coming. He's pretty well known. His name is James Dean. He just got done shooting a movie called Rebel Without a Cause, and he is currently filming a movie with Rock Hudson and Elizabeth Taylor called Giant. Now, when James Dean wasn't filming movies, uh, he had a passion in his life, and that was racing cars. Uh, James Dean, when he first started making a little bit of money in Hollywood, he would spend a lot of his money on vehicles. Uh, primarily, he had first bought a motorcycle and then later had bought a uh, racing car. And I, I guess this car wasn't fast enough because he wanted to trade it in for a uh, 1955 Porsche Spider 550. Uh, a very, very light car. This car only weighs 1,200 pounds, has a four cylinder air cooled engine. And uh, he's planning on racing it. Now, during the filming of Giant, the uh, producers or director, they had a clause in the contract. They told James Dean, you're not allowed to race during uh, the filming, you know, because it's dangerous. So after filming was wrapped up, just about nine days before his death, James trades in his car for that Porsche uh, Spider, a very light, a very fast car. Now, September 30th, 1955, James, he's on his way from Hollywood and he's going to be driving up to Salina, California. Uh, there's a race up there that he's planning on uh, participating in. However, there's a problem. Um, I don't know why, but there's a rule with that racing circuit that he was with that the car had to have a certain amount of miles on the odometer to participate in the race. Originally, he was going to tow his car with a uh, station wagon and a trailer that he had, but he ended up uh, driving it up to get the miles on the odometer. Now, on that day, he was, he was driving his car with one Rolf Wutherich. Now, there's many <laughs> different ways to pronounce that name, so if I get it wrong, I apologize. Uh, and also... He was driving with him and then driving the Jeep with the trailer, because I guess they were going to trailer the car back, uh, was a photographer that was going to go up to the race to take, uh, to take pictures of it. His name was Sanford Roth. Now, of course, this is the memorial site. This is the crash site where that uh, horrible event took place. Somebody left their bra. <laughs> okay, so let me quickly explain what happened. So before he came up here, like two hours before, James Dean had got a ticket uh, right before he was getting into Bakersfield. He got a ticket around 3.30 p.m. So he got a ticket for driving 65 and a 55, and Sanford, who was driving the Jeep, he got a ticket because he was driving... 55 or still no, 65 excuse me 65 
But back then in California, if you were towing a trailer, the speed limit was 45 miles an hour. So they were both doing about 65 miles an hour. James got a ticket for doing 10 over and Sanford got a ticket for doing 20 over. So after the ticket, they came up this way. Now there's a couple different variations of how they got here or what happened. I'm gonna have to do a little bit more research and maybe in a future video we'll cover that part. Maybe we'll do a dark side of Hollywood or something along those lines. However, the case might be. They came over here. Now at the time, again, this is US 466. From there, going over here, this is westbound. So James Dean is driving down from that hill and he's going probably about 55 because this guy just got a ticket. He doesn't want another one. I don't know if they would have found out if he had another ticket. Two tickets within a, I mean, maybe they would have towed his car. I don't know. So he's probably not trying to, you know, go too fast. Now, coming from over here as a young man of similar age to James Dean, uh, this man is only 23. He's a US Navy vet. His name is Donald Turnipseed. He's driving a 1950 Ford two-door. The big, big heavy car, big heavy car. So he comes around that corner over there and I'm guessing he's doing similar speed, 55. So Donald, uh, he's on his way to State Route 41 right here, this, this uh, junction right here. So he's going to take this route and he's going to head towards Fresno. Now at the time he lived in Tulare, so I don't know if he was going home to Tulare or what, I'm sure he was. So James Dean driving down that highway, Donald Turnipseed down this highway. So as James is coming, there's a junction right there. That little junction, that's where like that truck is going right now. Donald Turnipseed is going to take that, that very same left. Now, as they're coming to this, this junction right here. Now, this is where if it's true or false of what he said, but basically from Rolf's memory, he said that uh, right before the crash, because James seen Donald coming and he says, you know, it tells James, uh, man, you better slow down. And supposedly James last words were, that guy's gotta stop, he'll see us. Well, that guy didn't see us. So they crashed about right there. And then the car comes flying right over into this uh, small embankment area right here. Now, there were several witnesses to the crash and uh, just by dumb luck, a nurse happened to have uh, came upon the crash site and uh, she had checked James Dean's pulse and uh, it, was, it was very weak. And uh, you know, James was in very, very bad shape. I mean, you see that car, there's, that there's nothing to that car. The, you're going up against a, 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 a car that weighs, what, a couple tons? Versus a car that, you know, a lot of motorcycles weigh more than. So by the time the ambulance came and uh, got James out of the car, uh, he was in very, very bad shape. They may not have known at that time but uh, James Dean had a broken neck. The ambulance rushed James Dean about 27, 28 miles away to this location. Uh, this is Paso Robles, California. And back in the 50s, there used to be a hospital called Paso Robles War Memorial Hospital. The hospital sat as best as I can find 
Uh, it sat right here uh, where that very, very nice house uh, currently sits at. That house is probably worth about, I'd say, a cool $3 million, I'm guessing. I'm probably wrong. I'll put the right... Uh, hey, doggy. I'll put the right uh, amount up. I'm guessing $3 million. This is a very, very nice area. As a matter of fact, it's so nice, I'm probably going to get the cops called on me right now. So anyways, um, that hospital was a very, very little hospital. It only had about 32 beds. And uh, that was where uh, James Dean was declared dead, uh, legally anyways, was right here. Uh, he died from, uh, well, amongst the many internal injuries, a broken neck. And um, yeah, this would be where he was legally declared dead. I know, I'm leaving. Just after James Dean had died, reports going all over the radio started making its waves uh, all over the country and the world. Uh, the next day's editions of a lot of newspapers all over the country. We're talking about the young Hollywood actor dying tragically in a car accident. Now, Donald Turnipseed, his car was totaled. It was not in any kind of driving condition. So he ended up catching a ride with a guy, his wife and his teenager. And the man that gave him a ride, he was interviewed by a newspaper uh, many years later. And he said basically during the ride, all Donald kept on saying was, I hope he's all right. I hope he's all right. He didn't know he was James Dean until later. That's all he kept saying. And they had stopped at a diner so he could stop and call his parents. He was very, very worried about that man who had ran into his car. Now, authorities did uh, conduct an inquest into whether charges should be filed against Donald Turnipseed. And um, later they convened and no charges were filed. Basically, all Donald Turnipseed said was, I didn't see him. You know, you have a car that's a weird color, a weird silver color. It has a very low profile. You have possibly the glare off of that car. Because remember, Donald Turnipseed was coming from the west and he was going east. So the sun would be uh, setting from behind him, casting on the car and possibly the reflection coupled with the speed because maybe, you know, maybe James Dean was going a little faster than 55. Let's just say, who knows? You just didn't see him at the end of the day. So whatever happened to Donald Turnipseed? Well, uh, this is a Turnipseed electric service. So uh, Donald would later come back to Tulare. This is where he lived. I believe he was on his way home from school at the time. So he came back to this company and uh, this is his family's, um, you know, the family business. And he ran a very successful electric service um, for the next, uh, I want to say the next uh, 35, 40 years or so. On July 13th, 1995, at the age of 63, Donald Turnipsey died in his home from lung cancer. Just like James Dean, he lived somewhat a short life. And let me tell you, uh, his family tried for many years to shield his privacy because a lot of newspapers on the anniversary of the date of his death, they would always come out here and try to interview him, and he would always deny their request. Uh, this is the final resting place of Donald Turnipseed, and he's buried alongside of his second wife, Molly. And uh, these would be his parents to his right gotta clean that off a little bit i need to start carrying a little tiny uh broom for this uh yeah i'm 
fairly certain for the rest of his life that he often thought about what happened in the terrible accident, which is all it was, a terrible accident. You, you possibly have a sun glaring off of an automobile, silver in color, kind of blinding. Like I said earlier, a car so small, like just like a motorcycle that oftentimes people quote unquote don't see, he is looking for cars that are like his, not little tiny silver cars speeding down a highway. And I don't think we'll ever truly know exactly what speed he was going. I do believe that crash investigators feel that uh, James Dean, you know, based on the trajectory of the car and uh, eyewitnesses, they do say he was doing a, the speed limit, but we don't really know, because guess what? We weren't there. We weren't there. And uh, oddly enough, uh, the passenger in James Dean car, he would also later on uh, end up dying in a car crash uh, over in Germany. Just like Paul Walker, just a, a very popular actor and uh, died very young in a really bad car crash. And uh, James Dean never, he would have never imagined how popular uh, he would be until after his untimely death. So rest in peace to Donald Turnipseed, his wife Molly, and his parents, and James Dean. And the rest here, and the rest. All right, guys, we're gonna head north. We're gonna pay a visit to Fresno, California. It has been a, a, a very odd last, um, I wanna say seven months of how I'm traveling. So some of the videos are out of order, but I hope to very soon get everything back uh, the way I want it. I'll see you on the next video. Peace out.